In today's video, we're gonna expand on the magnesium fire block, but we're gonna use an unlikely tool to ignite our fires. We're gonna use an empty Bic lighter. Now, we're gonna be able to light the magnesium with this little insignificant used up lighter. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click the bell, that way you get notified for all future videos. All right, let's get started. Now, magnesium's been a trusted fire starter for ages, but can it be ignited with an empty Bic lighter? Yes, it can. Just because the lighter is empty doesn't mean it's useless but there are a few modifications that we need to make. Now with a big lighter, those shavings are not gonna light until they reach a certain temperature. But if we throw ferrocerium sparks on there, they will ignite. You may be asking yourself, how is an empty lighter gonna light the shavings if a regular lighter wouldn't do it? Let me show you. All right, so first of all, this lighter is no good, as you can see right here. It has absolutely no fluid in it whatsoever. But first, what we need to do is we need to take this guard off and then this thumb guard off right here in order to do what we're going to do. It's easy to do. Just take your multi-tool and pry that puppy off just like that. Now, take this guard and pull it out. Underneath this wheel is a spring-loaded ferrocerium rod. Now we need to scrape shavings off of this lighter onto a piece of paper. And the reason why I'm doing it on a piece of paper is so that you can see it more clearly. But you're just gonna go back and forth just like that. And while you're doing that, you're knocking off a bunch of shavings of that ferro rod. Now when you're doing this, you wanna do it very slowly and high enough above the paper or whatever you're using to collect your ferrocerium dust so that if you accidentally hit a spark, it's not going to ignite that dust. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this takes a little while, so be patient, and the end result will be a fire if you absolutely have to have one. Now that we've collected some ferrocerium dust onto this piece of paper, it's time to collect our magnesium so we can get our fire started. Now that we've collected our magnesium that we want to ignite and we have collected our ferrocerium out of this empty big lighter, you're going to pour this ferrocerium on top of your magnesium. All right, so here we go. And it worked. Now the ferrocerium powder that we got out of this big lighter was exactly what we needed to ignite the magnesium shavings. It's a real good reminder that even useless tools are able to still be used to make a fire. Now this was just the beginning of our magnesium myth busting for today's video. Next, we're gonna take it a step further straight out of the comments from last week's video. Now after starting a fire with an empty big lighter, we're gonna step things up just a little bit. If you notice, this fire burned out real quick, so it would have been real hard to start a fire with natural tinder, depending on the kind of tinder that you had. Let's say your tinder was damp or wet, that wouldn't have started your fire right off the bat. So what we need is called a fire extender, and I have the perfect thing. In my last video in the comments, someone suggested to use duct tape as the fire extender, and that's exactly what duct tape is for in a survival situation. This survival tool is amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull us a piece of this duct tape off, and then we're going to use it as a fire extender. Now the beautiful thing about duct tape acting as a fire extender is that it burns very slowly and it allows you to ignite your tinder. Plus it helps you if you have some wet or damp tinder. Now this stuff right here burns for a long time, sort of like a candle. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull a length of tape off like that. And it's best if you fold this side and then this side like that. It kind of keeps it a little straight. Now we're gonna add some magnesium shavings to the sticky side here. That way, in the event that it gets high wind or it gets knocked over, your shavings aren't gonna fall everywhere. They'll be stuck to the tape and you'll be able to move this around and start your fire wherever you need to start your fire. But there's one more trick that we need to do. It's gonna be hard for this duct tape to ignite at first with the magnesium. So what you need to do is make some strips of your duct tape. 
and then we're gonna put this on the pile with our magnesium strips and make it easier to ignite. We're gonna dump the ferrocerium onto the magnesium once again. Now we've taken the tape, put it upside down, we put the magnesium on top of the sticky side of the tape. Then we put the ferrocerium on top of the magnesium. Now we're gonna ignite it, and then we're gonna hold this tape over what we just ignited to act as a flame extender. All this tape should burn. Once again, the empty lighter, throw a spark onto the ferrocerium, and it should ignite the magnesium. There it goes. And then now, all right, we'll just ignite that. Now this one didn't do like the other one did where it just boof into flames. So it still worked enough for us to get it lit, get the tape lit. Now if you notice that the tape is actually burning very slowly, that will continue to burn for a long time and it will allow you to get whatever fire tender that you're gonna use lit. Now that problem could have been because we didn't have a lot of ferrocerium dust like we did on the first one. Now we've come to the final stage of our fire starting adventure where we're gonna harness the true potential of an empty big lighter. Here we have our empty broken big lighter, but we're far from done with it. We're gonna utilize this plastic body and the ferrocerium wheel to ignite this fire. Now we're gonna scrape a big pile of these shavings off of this lighter. Now, static electricity, it likes to cling or whatever it is on here, but we need a big old pile of all this plastic shavings. Now with this one, you're gonna need some shavings for some fat wood to help extend your fire. Oop, don't wanna spark it. Seriously, grinding that thing back and forth takes forever. All right, we're gonna take our collected ferrocerium dust and we're gonna pour it onto our plastic. Now the theory is we'll make a spark and then that plastic will catch on fire and then we'll just add these shavings to the fire. So, Here it goes. By utilizing the very essence of this big lighter, the plastic body and the ferrocerium, we transform this useless item into a fire source. It's not about what you have, it's about how you use it. This wraps up our magnesium myth busting fire starting series. If you wanna know more about starting fires with magnesium, click this video right here. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you'll be notified of any future videos. Smash that like button and leave a comment and let me know if you started a fire in any of these methods. Hey, remember, follow Jesus, everything else will fall into place. I'll see you next time. God bless you.